Hello, I'm Asa. I love video games. I'm 43 years old, so not surprisingly, I've been gaming since the days of King's Quest, a game I played a long time ago as a kid on my 286. I was there when Street Fighter 1 was a niche arcade game you could only play at a 7-Eleven after school. I grew up playing everything from Dragon Warrior to Ninja Gaiden on the NES, from Final Fantasy IV, then known to us as Final Fantasy II, all the way to the SNES's dying days with games like Super Mario RPG and Tetris Attack. That's when Nintendo decided to go more kitty-friendly, and so I switched to the PlayStation and continued my RPG and strategy game obsession there. I, I'm sure you get it by now. I've been around games my entire life. They saw me through all sorts of good and bad moments in my life. Today I do most of my gaming on my Switch and on Steam. I never lost the taste for gaming, and I love to try out the plethora of unsung games on Steam made by the same kinds of minds that made the games I loved in yesteryear. This is me. I'm a guy that loves games. I suspect that most gamers, if not all, are more or less like myself. You got that one game series you really like, and then a bunch you probably play every now and then, and then some you probably stay away from entirely. Pretty sure we all play games for the enjoyment, and not because... But I actually want to talk about something so much more important than Red Dead Online. Sexism in gaming. Fast forward to today. Meet Frisk. Oh wait, hang on. There we go. Perfect. Okay, Frisk believes all gamers are out to get her. We can't possibly love video games for their awesome theming, their fun and addicting gameplay, because we're good at them, or because we love a character or two in them, because we're enthralled by the story and the setting. Nope! According to Frisk, this is 100% the only reason anyone ever bothers to pick up a controller. Titties. Lots and lots of titties. So this is the image of us gamers that angry little boys like Frisk have to attack. They have no choice, because they have nothing else. And moreover, the image that a small and loud group of anti-gamers trying to rain on our parade have tried to make stick since 2012 or so. It's a tired and inaccurate stereotype that all of us are just a bunch of sexist neckbeards that only care about how much TNA there is in a game. In joining G4, I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child, but... Where am I? We had to rebuild you. Stronger. Faster. Tougher. Lesbianic. to disarm these terrorists. You're the nation's only hope. No problem. That's what I was made for. You're outnumbered and outgunned. What are you gonna do? This. Every time G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us, I can see you, without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. Listen, Sauron, it's not my fault that your idiotic and lame show that I can't believe people ever tuned into in the first place had scantily clad women jumping into pies or whatever Olivia Munn is doing here. G4 had nothing to do with gaming or gamers back then, and it has nothing to do with gaming or gamers today. Take up your rage with the producers who made programming explicitly made to appeal to lonely, horny losers back in the day. Sex sells, bitch! And it's painfully obvious now to anyone with eyes that that's what made your stupid show popular back in the day. This Hi, shit. I'm celebrity spokesperson Olivia Munn, and I'm endorsing the only way to natural boob enhancement. Easy Curves. Easy Curves is scientifically proven to enhance bust size with every pump. But what if my boobs get too big? <laughs> As if that could be a problem. But seriously, Easy Curves has a built-in safety measure. When your boobs are big enough, you can't use it anymore. 
like me. <laughs> See, perfect size. Yes, even I, Olivia Munn, needed easy curves. Now, men can't stop looking at me. Hey, boys. <laughs> My boobs are huge and real. Buy Easy Curves, and Olivia will keep using it and sending you pictures of her progress. You don't get to blame gamers for that. We're not all a bunch of walking erections like you seem to believe, Frisk. Hell, gaming today is more of an Easter egg hunt than ever. I have to dig around and wade through all the shit in order to find the gems that don't pander to your unnaturally baraka mouth freaks like you. If your ratings are tanking, it's because you got nothing interesting to say, nothing new to present, nothing worth watching, and worst of all, you're an angry, ugly, demon-toothed harpy who is clearly always a swipe left on Tinder. That's not our fault. Get angry at your parents' genetics for producing in you an unappealing, snaggletoothed harridan. Not at us for enjoying the games we love and not giving you the time of day. No one in the history of ever has ever cat called you nor will they ever you never have to worry about that no one would pay to see you perform i know a lot of people would pay at least a tenner to see me i know a lot of people would pay not to hear you it's somehow talk to him frost it has somehow been expected that you can talk about how much you jerked off to women as a compliment it's okay who would be dumb enough to say something so remotely stupid i submit to you that anyone who goes hur, hur, i used to slap my sausage to olivia munn back in the day is a loser and if they were to publicly admit to it they would be rightfully labeled as a loser it just doesn't happen, Frisk. This is a made-up strawman that you assholes have been attacking for years. And frankly, we're all a little weary of you crying wolf by now. Or braying wolf in your case. It's weird. not a compliment. It's weird. It's dehumanizing and it's weird. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. <laughs> Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist yeah, to be yeah, yeah. nice on the eyes for you. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. The only reason you brought up Olivia Munn and Morgan Webb is because you're jealous of both of them and their ability to draw a crowd and your inability to do likewise. Guaranteed 100% you would in, you would be enjoying the viewership of those exact same horny lonely losers that you appealed to back in the day if they were interested in you enough to tune in and pretend to listen to whatever inane shit you're saying. Sorry, bitch. You don't got it. Hey, she cooking, y'all. And that's just <laughs> obvious sexism. You don't need to explicitly objectify women or declare that you hate women to be sexist. Reviews are written and produced by a team of people. There are too many games for one person to shoulder the burden. So we divide and conquer. And when we use language like we or I, that's the reviewer. That's coming from the mouth and experience of the reviewer reading that review. Ah, there it is. Good that you admit that you don't do anything but read a teleprompter. We know, Frisk, you're completely ignorant of video games, its fan base, and its history. And it's painfully obvious to us that you have an agenda, not an actual love for these games. Moving along. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Peace! Hey, hey. I, gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta you I agree, Frisk. Enjoy your 15 seconds of fame for pissing off the only possible audience you could have possibly cultivated because they will inevitably be your last. No one gives a shit about you. No one ever will. The only way us ugly people ever get attention is by being interesting, deep, or funny. You are none of those things, so it's probably time for you to get off that high horse of yours and recognize your sad pathetic truth for what it is you're just ugly that's it 
And not even hate views will save G4 in its current state. Hate views can only get you so far. Hell, I didn't even tune in back in the day, and that's when you were all the rage. I was too busy playing the games I loved back in the day, and today, well today, who the hell wants to see this shit? Join me here in the circle. Hey, 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 you okay? Yeah. What the hell is this? No one wants to watch boring ass people act out a pre scripted DD session wearing half ass cosplay. I shit you not. They genuinely think this crap here is gonna draw eyeballs to their channel. You gotta be shitting me, G4. I mean, what the fuck is this? How the hell is this in any way going to top this? Sorry guys, you guys have conceptually shot yourself in the balls. I could say that G4 used to be better, but nah, you were always this boring. Only back then you eked on by thanks to the very same sex appeal that you're complaining about today. That's what made you! How hypocritical can you get, G4? Adam Senseless is probably drinking himself into a stupor when he finally realizes that the only reason G4 ever got any viewership is because of Olivia Munn and Morgan Webb, and not because he's a particularly interesting person himself. Your rant is reflective of his own frustrations. That's why he clapped like a fucking trained seal when you opened your never-touched-by-Colgate bulldozer-like jaw, bitch. Now shut the fuck up and let us play our games in peace, will ya? As for this tired sexism and gaming bullshit you've been desperately trying to shove down people's throats for well over a decade now, you remember that King's Quest game I told you about in the beginning that I played back when I was a kid way back in the 80s? Yeah, that game, it was produced by the immortal Roberta Williams. A woman made one of my favorite childhood games and I thank her for it. How's that for a twist? The only thing women ever need to succeed in gaming is to make kick-ass games and stop complaining about the lack of representation. Peace out, bitch. Thinking that I'm somehow ruining your current X-Play experience because you can't objectify me how you previously did to Morgan, or that I'm somehow less qualified to speak on something, but you can't quite put your finger on why, even though I'm reading the exact same script as Adam, but you have no problem with he's part of it, you're letting your unconscious biases ruin my day and you're gatekeeping the gaming space. So maybe for 2022, we'd be a bit nicer, a bit more self-reflective, and we enjoy the fact that people are working hard to make free content for you. Well, let's finish this off. Let me answer you in turn, Frosk. First of all, G4 objectified those women. They knew what they were doing, and both of them were happily complicit in their own objectification. Shut the fuck up. Second, you're ruining my day when you claim that all gaming and all gamers are sexist, and all you can produce is accusations. I don't want some Microsoft shill who admittedly gets her shit written for her by even more ignorant people than herself, all with the same anti-gaming agenda to tell me that they hate me for existing. You're a dime a dozen, and you're going in the trash where you fucking belong. How about in 2022, you zip it and leave us be. We will happily go on ignoring you. Oh, by the way, my content is also free, and you don't hear me bitching about who's watching and who isn't. You want to see more? Give me a hell yeah. Till next time, you thirsty fucks.